Hi, it's Richard from On Demand Education here with the first of our series of walkthroughs of what's new in IP 2014. Notice the new login screen with the Zen approach. Very little. I'm going to click login to the thin client here and notice a new icon while the system is waiting. And notice that the salutation applets are back. The My Activities applet on the home page displays the new Collapse and, and Grow icons. And this causes a weird refresh. I haven't got any activities to show you. But revelation number one is the sitemap with the new kind of monochrome icons. My least favorite icon is not this one, but this one. The sitemap has lost its globe and turned into a sort of route map kind of thing. The other icons are fairly straightforward. The menu at the top of the page, File, Edit, View, and so on, is fairly straightforward and easily to understand, but what's this? By default, the new User Preference theme uses a side menu, reminiscent of Siebel 2000. So let's go and investigate more about the default theme and the other themes that are now available in User Preferences. Because I'm using by default the side menu, well, I have to go find behavior in a side menu. That's logical, I'd hear you say. So I now have three choices as opposed to two in the previous release. Let's choose tab, and all the themes this time around are called Aurora, which is strange because Aurora for me is a multicolored kind of thing you see when it's cold outside. I'll save this change, and I'll refresh my browser to look at the wonderful multicolored Oh, well, maybe not. The wonderful monochrome tabbed version of Aurora. At least the tabs are there with nice new black and white icons. I'll switch to the tree and it's Aurora again. Save it and refresh my browser. And the tree is just as awful as it was before, really. And finally, let's switch to this side menu and Aurora once again. The side menu giving something that is very reminiscent of a lot of mobile websites with the little three bars, except I would expect the three bars to be on the other side of the page, to be honest, but I guess they're just trying to mimic what we know already from previous versions of Siebel. Okay, let's switch back to the tab now, and let's get on with looking at something else once I've saved the changes. So what other graphical elements of this first page have changed? Well, as you can see, we have a new feature which introduces a dashboard. Many of you will remember the customer dashboard. This now uses a little button here that allows me to have a floating dashboard. So the little sort of drawing pin lets me stick it or unstick it. Let's kill that for the moment. The notifications have get, got the same kind of look over. And anyone would think I'm in WordPress because I now have a little user preference and a settings shortcut to the user preferences. Pretty cool queries, and a find feature we'll come back to tomorrow. Now let's go to the sitemap. Oh, I almost forgot where it was. And let's just go and see one more example of what's new in my sandbox, Siebel IP 2014. I'm going to go to the manifest files view, which many of you are, sorry, manifest administration. And notice the new color scheme for list applets, blue and gray and white and so on. And I'm going to look at one particular applet, the contact list applet, which in previous versions had a grid and a tile. But it also, as many of you know, had a hidden map feature. Now the map feature is no longer hidden. It is fully functional. So if I go to the contacts, contacts list, and what I'm going to do is show you, first of all, there are three buttons here, including the new map. But I'm going to, well, create a record because, frankly, if I'm going to demonstrate maps, I need a new record. So I'll create my, myself. There we go. And I'll give myself a personal address. Notice that the multi-value group now shows as a real shuttle applet somewhat similar to the things we had in the high interactivity. Still a bit chunky, but it's getting there. So let me enter an address that is not in the United States. That should also be a test. And of course, if I can spell it. And as before in the previous release, we now have that jolly little type ahead showing me the, this time around the options based on what I've typed. Click OK. And now let's switch to map mode.
The big surprise is that it's not Google Maps. Many of you all know, will know the reason why that is. This is actually Oracle Map Server, and this is the Oracle Map Client that some of you may have investigated, for example, when dealing with Oracle real-time scheduling. And yes, well, it's a bit slow, but that's not its fault. The icon showing me the address is in the correct place. The business cards are just as they were before, pretty ugly, need to be finished off, but uh, not bad. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow, or maybe in a couple of days, with another edition of our What's New in IP 2014.